fitting first windows. Note, the wall connector supplied might be different to the one showing. Please refer to your installation guide. 1. Fitting panels. Locate the wall plate and connectors and mark out the position of the relevant fixing bolts. The first and last 60mm fixing bolt should be positioned 50mm from the top and bottom faces of the wall connector, with the rest being spaced equally between. A total of three fixing bolts are used per wall connector on a dwarf wall model and five per connector on a full height model. If any of the positions marked for the 60mm fixing bolts land on mortar joints, adjust the position accordingly so that they locate over solid brick. Position the wall connector so that the internal edge is in line with the margin on the wall drawn earlier. It is important to ensure that the connector is at an angle of 90 degrees to the base. Use timber packing if required. Pre-drill the holes with an 8mm drill. While holding the connector in position and ensuring that it rests onto the sill, pre-drill through the connector and into the brick using an 8mm masonry drill. You're now ready to fix the connector with fixing bolts. Repeat this on the opposite side of the conservatory. Some fixings shown in this DVD are for studio build only. Please refer to your installation guide for the correct fixings required. 2. Fitting first panels. Select the panel to fit against the property wall. Ensure that the drainage slots in every panel are located at the bottom of the panel and facing the outside of the conservatory. You'll notice that each panel corner has the inner legs on the panel detailed notched away. It's essential that this detail is present to ensure that all 18mm inline couplings can slide into position. Two sill support blocks should also be attached to each panel. If they're not, please refer to your instruction manual. Position the window close to the wall connector. The legs of the sill support blocks should line up with the channel of the sill. Push or tap the window firmly downwards to clip into place. The base of the window should sit firmly down onto the sill. Check your installation guide for an alternative method. Select the A129 wall plate adapter and two A128 wall plate connectors. Slide the adapter and connector downwards so it's held by the window's inner legs until it rests onto the sill. Slide the window and connectors along the sill to engage the legs of the connectors with the legs of the wall plate. Quarter turn buttons should now be positioned between the panel and the wall connector, around 50mm from the top and bottom. Using a 6mm Allen key, rotate the quarter turn button 90 degrees clockwise to lock it into position. Six quarter turn buttons are attached to each face on dwarf wall models, eight for full height models. Silicone should be applied to the sill where the two part connector has made contact. Repeat for the opposite window. Fitting windows in a straight run. 1. Fitting intermediate panels. Select the second panel and again remember to ensure the drainage slots are located at the bottom of the panel and facing the front. Fit the panel in the same way as you did the first and bring it into position around 18mm away from the last panel to be installed. An 18mm inline coupling should then be slid downward and through the gap between the two panels until it rests on the sill. Use the quarter turn buttons to secure the panels in place. A quick check of the distance between the two panels should show a distance of 18 mm. The same process is applied to the installation of all other panels and 18 mm inline couplings. 2. Adjustable connectors. After every third 18 mm inline coupler along a run of connected panels, an adjustable inline coupling is required. These allow for adjustment to ensure that the panels will finish in the correct position when connecting to a corner post or a wall connector. For further detailed instructions on the adjustable inline couplings, please refer to the installation guide.